John's already withholding information I'm withholding from, us from his own podcast, you motherfucker. <laughs> Devin knew this would happen. I gave you this life. <laughs> I showed you this world, and you fucking you hold you hold things from me. I'm Frankenstein. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Monster. Drink your jizz. You're Drink your cup of jizz. Yeah, look at your stupid shirt. You look like you sell stuffed animals. I look like I deal drugs. Look at John. Park. Doesn't John look like he's like a like he works at the like a build a bear? Yeah. He looks like a pedophile. I look, I look like a build a bear. He looks you know. like a dry. He, he he's dressing up to molest kids. He's he's designed the way that he looks to attract children. Yep, and that's how he and, looks. And then he purposely does this thing. What thing? Where he he doesn't ha- doesn't bring, hit back. He doesn't bring anything to the table. I don't shoot back. No, I don't clap back. You stop. No, that's that's the that's how I respond. What happened to, all. to you? What happened to me? What happened? That's to how you? I respond now. It's not great for a podcast. I get an insult. that go, no, no, no. Doesn't really work for a podcast. The whole, hey, Sucks. just so you know, the silent Sucks. treatment doesn't work broadcasting. <laughs> Sucks. When you're broadcasting. I, like to, I do that to people sometimes in life. In life. Not when I'm on a, a podcast. <laughs> that sucks. Yeah, it does. It sucks quite bad. Yeah. But I brought, I brought you solid gold. You, just, you don't want to watch it right now. What? You we, said we watched it on Gutterall. John goes, I was like, yeah, I was kind of nervous. We watched go, it on Gutterall. It was, it was good. I go, John, you got anything we should watch uh, today on Haywash? Yeah. He goes, uh, type in gay porn bloopers. <laughs> <laughs> that shit rocks. That shit's so funny. That shit Dude, rocks. they're crazy. Dude, they're, they're, they're crazy? They're, Why are they crazy? Just turn on the gay porn. Bad gay porn. It's great. Let's try it. Just try oh, yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, Shoot sure. it out there. Bad gay porn acting. Right yeah, here. Okay. Let's, this is what John this is a classic. thinks Hate Watch should be classic. all about. Is that the guy from Law I've and Order? I've seen this. I don't know how I've oh, seen shit. this, but I've seen this. It's a it's detective from, from John. Law and Order. Our dad had taught us not to be ashamed of our dicks, especially since they're such good size and all. Hell yeah. Andrew Tate. Yeah, I see that. <laughs> it is. It doesn't look like Andrew Tate. <laughs> Andrew Tate, the detective from Law and Order SVU. <laughs> this is what you, you and Joey do when them. you hang out at Joey's place. Mm-hmm. You think this is what me, me and Joey that do? That guy kind of looks like Sometimes you, low-key. I pull on it so hard. I ripped the skin. Well, my daddy taught me a few things too, like uh, how not to rip the skin by using someone else's mouth instead of your own hands. Whoa. Yeah, that's pretty crazy. Will you show me? I'd be right happy to. Right That's happy. you, dude. <laughs> there you go. That's you. <laughs> gay sex scene. For a gay sex you think that's, that's you, me, dude. John? That's you, dude. Fucking think it's funny to call me gay? Yeah, I think it's great. I really? can't believe you just did that. To I can't us. believe you just ruined the podcast already. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. You, I sit down. You're like, give me something. I'm, I'm just fire. I, listen, I shoot from the hip. I got some shit loaded up. I got some classic. I'm like a, you know, I got like old internet memes in my head constantly. Yeah, you know what I mean, I'm just. What are you wearing? Are you wearing stuff. a ring, like a turquoise ring? Yeah, crackhead left this in my car, so I got my car broken into. What? Did I tell you about this? He left you jewels? Yes. Isn't that weird? That is weird. It's really weird. So I, 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 someone broke into my car. I have nothing of value in my car. They just sifted through everything. It made my car a bigger mess, but it was more of a mess than what it was. And I went in, I sat down, I was like, what the fuck happened here? Like, there's napkins everywhere. And I was like, oh, my glove box is open, of course. Mm-hmm. And then I was, my first panic thing is I had my Ray-Bans up in the little sit-in compartment. They didn't get them. I was like, thank fucking God. Oh, really? Thing, what a only dumb thing, I know what a dumb, well, they're crack 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 They're retarded. So uh, they didn't get those. I was like, fuck yeah. And I'm going through my shit. And in my fucking uh, cup holder, there's just this silver. It's a silver. It's a sterling silver ring. It's a sterling on it. It's mm. got to be worth like 100 bucks. No. It's silver, dude. That's heavy. Yeah, that's sterling silver. Yeah. Heavy heavy wears the crowns. Sort yeah. Of thing. Maybe it's magical or something. That's what I'm thinking. You know Maybe. what this feels like? What if you like? become a crack it? What if it's like contagious? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I, was a, I was about to say, this feels like a gypsy curse. Yeah, I put, I put it on my... Yeah, it kind of has... The guy like never a, wanted yeah. to do crack. Yeah. They're like, but, you know, silver is like a thing that protects you from bad things, you know what I mean? Like historically, like in legends, like silver bullets and stuff. Sure, you know? but I could also mm. see it being like a a Stephen King kind of thinner plot where a guy goes like, oh, you you have this curse to give it to somebody else and well, rid yourself, make them wear the ring. I'll tell you right now, I've, I've, I've found other bits of jewelry around. And like the other like other week, I in found your like car? A, no, on the floor. That's what I'm saying. Finding stuff on trash on the floor is one thing. Finding a piece of jewelry planted in your car. But like maybe it fell off quite his hand. And, like, maybe the ring didn't want to be on his hand anymore. Surprised it, his hand didn't fall in. off in your car. 
I mean, I haven't gotten a bad vibe from this ring. It's just fucking sure. I don't know. I I don't. I'm not a vibe guy, but I'm not getting bad vibes either. Yeah, I'm not. I'm I'm a I'm a real vibe guy. Like I feel vibes, dude. You do feel vibes. I feel vibes. I haven't gotten a bad one from this ring. It just kind of is cool. I like the turquoise. Reminds me of Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid or something. Why? That's not even because like it's like Cassidy turquoise. Sundance Kid. It's like the Southwest. I don't know. It just it's like me. it's like a ring that like a white woman living in Santa Fe would wear. Yeah. <laughs> But it's meant for a man. Like she does witch well, stuff. My, my grandpa also wore like. You look big like you should have rings. like a glass of Chardonnay. You look like, like you should have a big fat cock right down your throat. Oh, constantly. do I? Yeah, that's what you look like. Yeah, yeah. Hey, you look like a penis. How about that? <laughs> I do. I look, like, I look like a testicle. You look like a fucking descended <laughs> testicle. <laughs> <laughs> with hair, your, your your fucking facial hair just looks like pubes. I know it gets big. It's tight. Yeah, you started this, by the way. I don't, you, you don't want to fucking do this. You didn't want to do this today? Do that. You Remember when I used to call you John Candy? When yeah. You were super fat? I yeah. always felt really bad about that. Really? Why? Because it hurt Fat you. joke. Did it? I used to call you Preston from Jackass, too. I hated Preston because that, that looked, dude sucks. You looked a lot like him. No. You, you, when you were a fat fuck. Never did. <laughs> when you were a big, big fat fuck, you yeah. kind of looked like Preston from Jackass. And now, yeah, yeah, yeah go drink your jizz. John's always been very comfortable, though. Even like at all levels of he was yeah, always I was very never, confident. I was, I was yeah, never, you were never like actually like oh like yeah. you, you like left a part. You like you know no, no, I was me. I never. You were always a great sport. I'm saying you looked literally like a completely different person. Yeah, it's wild. I I, I uh, you should show on the Patreon. We should share your community college uh, ID, your picture from. Oh GCC. shit! I still have that. Well, they can't see it here. Well, you like, can put it up in front of the camera. camera. Put it in front yeah. of the camera. It's amazing. Well, you focus? That's the funniest yeah. picture I've ever seen, I think. Oh, dude. It's probably all scraped up and shit. It's amazing. It's you look like too. Jabba the Hutt. Dude, I'm so fat. <laughs> you were so fat. Dude, I have, like, cards from, like, 20 years ago. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Dude, I have my fucking... These are all, like, just a bunch of whole yeah, punch cards. Sabaro punch so card. Yeah, we get it. You're due a free meal at Golden Corral. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who has All right, this come on. Oh, uh, it's not there. You don't have it? You ate yeah. it. Yeah, I ate it. <laughs> no, I, 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 I'm I, being so mean to Chuck. He's no, not even fat. Okay. <laughs> Chuck's not even fat anymore. I'm yeah, like, yeah. Well, Devin secretly. Devin fat. Was Nothing a funnier than calling feeder. not fat people fat. That is actually funny, calling... Not skinny Calling people. like skinny people Devin fat was a secret feeder though. He always would get angry when I'd lose weight. It was really kind of crooked. well because I wasn't Devin sure. Devin was like was... the mom in fucking Sixth Sense. That was like feeding her kid all that weird shit. I had I had sick. like yeah. Munchausen syndrome. Yeah, with John. Devin, Devin I, was like, I wanted to convince him that he was sick and he needed to just <laughs> yeah, he just needed eating. to keep eating. Devin like Devin for a long time would be like, but you're supposed to be fat. <laughs> <laughs> He'd be like, what are you doing? Like I'd lose weight. Like his mo- like Bev would come around and be like, John, you look great. Like your face is thinning out. And the W like, ah, yeah. you're supposed to be a big guy. He's like I miss. It's like when a, a a dad shaves their beard and the baby doesn't recognize him. That's Devin. Oh, where he's yeah, like, "Where's yeah. my sweet yeah, friend?" John? My sweet, yeah, I've, I've lost hundred and twenty pounds. That's Fuck. nuts. That's, that's actually, a lot of that's, fucking weight. That's wow. actually amazing. I should be like a. I should sell shit on Instagram. You I could. could. I could be like a nutritionist, like uh, Jared from. Subway. You just have to gay bash yourself until you lose fifty pounds, and then the rest <laughs> of it you just kind of learn. I did used to. Yeah, I did used to gaslight John and be like, "You just you're supposed because I didn't know how it was going to work out because I always thought you were just like your body." was meant to be that weight which is crazy because you used to be fat as fuck too and you lost weight and you look great and you're just like but yeah but you're bigger Devin fears change especially Devin with fears his friends tons. I Devin do really I hate really with fears. his friends especially yeah. he's like my friend is yeah. changing I don't I'm not yeah, comfortable like no, I don't yeah. like it I don't I get really nervous yeah. I need everyone to be this I need we need to do this till we're 90 you your yeah. girlfriend if there's I need Joey to live in little Tokyo <laughs> and every Friday until yeah. I'm 90 years old I drive yeah. him back to little Tokyo after we record and we get like <laughs> hammered and watch we watch like two days in the valley <laughs> and if that changes <laughs> I get real. I a cold wind blows over me if there's any change in my life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Devin, Devin, Devin's worst time in his life is when we all were like, we all left LA unexpectedly. God, God that must have sucked ass, dude. dude. It was horrible. God, how I was bad losing was my fucking. Dude, we all left Los Angeles on like a journey, and like we all lost our minds and came back. It was mm-hmm. cool. I had, it was to, save, I had to save everybody. You saved everybody. I'm always here. See, all people go, oh, Devin should do more. I go, really? Because you always need Papa Bear. When yeah, you guys. You, you guys, always need me here. The listener doesn't understand how much Devin has done. I am a um, yeah. I am the uh, the 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 stronghold for everybody. I pr- I've provided the, a safe house 
Wasn't always sure. that way. I feel everybody. like the quite the opposite. I feel like you need our constant support, and we'd be fine <laughs> with, without you. <laughs> yeah, Devin's just there to pick up the pieces. Yeah. He's like a little wormy guy, and he's like, "Oh, you having a hard time? Come here, Big John. Exactly. Let's go yeah. to New Orleans for three days." And we're like, "Hey, listen, we could go live in a cave for yeah, for yeah. six months and be fine." Yes, yeah, Devin, Devin sure, doesn't. Yeah, yeah, John yeah. calls me. Devin, I got another schizophrenic girl. I got. <laughs> <laughs> she tried to poison my eggs. Can you come she pick me up po- in Atlanta? <laughs> she tried to poison my eggs. <laughs> <laughs> that was crazy, dude. It was, it was nuts. I, you know, it's, you know, it sucks though. Is Atlanta the like the first like fu- before I met her? Before I met that my ex, it was great. It was fun. Was oh yeah, you were like yeah, you were yeah, you were telling yeah, you were telling dude. It yeah, was yeah. fucking sick. What what was your obsession with having to get in a relationship out there? Uh. Sometimes you meet someone and they just they just they're great. You were lonely. You were lonely. I was lonely. I was lonely, but also like I I was I had friends. Like I had friends. They weren't like as tight as my friends out here, but like I had friends and I was building a social scene and where I was working, like Midtown Atlanta. Like I was meeting everyone that worked there and like. But you romantically, you were lonely. Yeah. Well, I met someone that I just thought was phenomenal. I was like dating yeah. like women before that, and then I, I he met, was dating Trey Young. Yeah, Trey Young. Yeah. I don't know. You guys don't know. He plays for the Atlanta Hawks. Yeah, I don't know. He's a big basketball player. <laughs> You're not with your regular Richie buddy anymore, Dev. Sorry. Oh, wow. <laughs> Can't tell basketball. Wow. A lot of hostility there. <laughs> well, I just don't know about I'm basketball kidding. and rap and shit. Uh, of course you do. Yeah, that's a good thing to say out loud. I just don't care about yeah, basketball and rap and fucking <laughs> all that bullshit. Oh, that I don't know who likes that. <laughs> <laughs> that's for those people. No, I mean, I, I had a, a, you know, I had a great time. I was fucking sick. And then, you know, well, I mean, I did went off the rails you. quick. Like, I, I like, mean, like, after she rescue, was like a I psychopath. Like, it was crazy. Like, a super secret weirdo. Like, didn't know. Did she hit you up at all since? Yeah, she sent me a, a video message. I hated that like stupid bitch. Well, how well she was old too. She was like an old woman. Forty two. She looked really good, but uh, she uh, she, uh, sure she, she was a crazy. I'm sure, she crazy. broke. Your, I'm sure she did a great job when she would break your ankles. Oh, dude, yeah, when she, she was, tied you she up was, and broke your. You ankles. ever just meet someone like, like yes, Well, the thing course. is, I That's look old. She looked like. young. <laughs> I had to say the title. She, she would have she would have killed me if I stayed in that relationship for like a year. Like yeah. an extra year. I, I would have woken up with like a fucking like good fella scenario with her with a gun yeah. in my fucking face. Yeah, Were you upset sure. she wasn't a dude? Uh <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that was whatever. Huh? But yeah, this is you know, neither here nor there. I got a way better lady now. Yeah. I'm very happy. Good. Good. Mm. What? You want to do a little living man? A little living man, dude? Joe, you were. I love Living old. Man. What were we watching that made us think of the Living Man? Last it was week? Uh, uh, the the uh, driver. The driver. The guy who plowed the crowd down. He was the sovereign <laughs> oh, that's citizen. That's right, Daryl Brooks. Yeah, was, yeah, yeah. We were doing Daryl Brooks in court, claiming that he's because he was representing himself in court. The psychopath that uh, uh, ran over a bunch of people. Um, sovereign citizen. He, yeah, he was. Rocks. He was doing like sovereign citizen shit in court, and it yeah. reminded of, uh, us of um, a much more harmless. Sovereign citizen guy that's represented himself in court, who is a absolute legend. He looks like Robin Hood or Davy Crockett. He probably fucks like muskrats. He's like married to a bear, (laughs) the living man. Um, We did an episode on him a long, long time ago, but uh, this guy kicks fucking ass and check him out. He's my favorite person. on Living man arrested for feeding himself from the land. His name is Ernie Turtlegate, I think. Okay. Ernest Turtlegate, some shit like that. Here we go. Living Ernie man. Turtlegate, yeah. the defendant, Ernie Wayne Look at him. Turtlegate. Okay, pause he's it real quick. Look this at him. My favorite, my favorite part about he's this so fucking. Amazing. My favorite part of this fucking video is he's writing notes and like looking up and acting like he's no, he knows what he's doing. Right. <laughs> he's really and he's fucking up and like they have no patience for him. No, these guys. I mean, they're in court. In yeah. his mind, he's like, I'm dictating the natural law on yeah. this paper. He's like, this table is not natural. I, I this just like is how- not natural marble. <laughs> he's just treating this like a con. Like he's like, I'm gonna write and then look up. Like I know what I'm doing and I'm gonna engage. And he's dressed like a legitimate, like a re- like he like is a reenactor. He's an absolute psycho. He looks like he w- he looks like he like works in like like around like Virginia as like w- in like one of those colonial yeah. reenactors. Yeah, exactly. Represented by counsel here today. Um, Mr. Tertelgate has been charged with two misdemeanor offenses, which we'll be trying today. Now, I must object 
I, I must object. I am a simple fur trapper. <laughs> <laughs> the name that he is referring to, I am the living man. <laughs> yeah, he's like some guy who got arrowed in Revenant. God, I love this guy. That Mr. Riley refers to, ma'am, is held by the state. I love his letters and is identified by the state. On the state he's using like ancient voices. body language, and he also talks like kind of like he 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 uh, he's kind of like a wigger for Native Americans. <laughs> he, you're you're totally right. You know what yeah, I mean? he's, he's got Native American like tone. How would yeah. you say Native American wigger, dude? Let's not get into it. <laughs> Because I was about to say it. I was like, whoa. I literally, you say when it? you said it, I was about to be like, oh, I got it. And I was about to blurt it out. And I was like, no. No. I literally, it was That's great. on gutter oil. I was like, yeah. not yet. That's the stuff you get on gutter oil. Anyways, keep watching. I'm not the old capital. I am, they call me living man, my daughter running coyote, and my son, uh, little chief. <laughs> the living man whose mark is that of life. It is called a signature. His body language of this is like man. someone yeah, who makes sense. Person. He's got a bolo tie on. It is never in all capital letters. I'm going back to my notes. Ma'am, I must object, ma'am. I must Without object. She looks like Beavis. He's always in an argument with this fucking dynamic. judge. It looks oh, like park. Beavis. Just because a park ranger caught me having sex with a trout, <laughs> I, there is no reason for me to be brought to court for that. The Who? trout is natural property, Who and gave so is trout? much like my dick. Who gave trout dominion over the living man? Who gave <laughs> trout dominion over the living man? I was <laughs> simply mouth-fucking the trout, and it started... And it <laughs> Ma'am, I was under duress. My <laughs> foot was captured in a bear trap, and I was mouth fucking a what rainbow trout. <laughs> the United States Supreme Court cases to this end. It should have been brought to my hand more than a month ago, and no evidence has been brought forward of any competency of any of this. I have to speak for myself, ma'am. No one here is capable of doing it, and particularly those that are bar or non bar. They can only speak, ma'am, to the legal. My interest is to forfend my person's living name. I wish some right. cop went up to him and just slapped him and went, shut up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he, just, he just goes, fucking, what era are you living in? Yeah, it's, it's, yeah, it's on the sassy bailiffs <laughs> from, like, sassy a bailiff, yeah. from Judge Judy. <laughs> <laughs> Judge <laughs> Judy's just like, sir, you're a moron. You're a moron, sir. Quiet, Cracker. This is an improper objection and violation of the motion to eliminate. It is not an improper violation. Mr. Cataldo, you are not to interrupt Mr. Riley again. Ma'am? She looks like an alien from Mars attack. Ma'am, I will skull <laughs> I will skull fuck the shit out of you. <laughs> Ma'am, I'll fucking execute you. You interrupt me again. You know, in the wild, they don't have your type. Women. <laughs> you are sorely mistaken if you think I'm going to respect the letter of the law, you old whore. You think you could last a day? <laughs> <laughs> you and me in the jungle, ma'am. You think you and your tiny woman body could last a day in living man's shoes? The living man. Living man's in moccasin. A commercial event such as this. Sir. Who has the right to tell the living man when he can speak and when he cannot? I love the living man. <laughs> He's killing it, dude. Speak what sounds he can make and what sounds oh, he can make. Oh, yeah. Make. With your fancy indoor plumbing in your ceilings. <laughs> you think that scares me? You stupid bitch. <laughs> he is addressing British law, man. He is a minister on behalf of Great Britain. Great Britain. Great Britain. <laughs> Man, the, the thing is, this is this is all a fake persona. He's just no. It's he's a, it's he's a he's cosplayer. He's not this person. He goes home. It's and psychotic. He, he goes home and he watches the Mets. Yeah, it's <laughs> insane. He goes back to his cabin and he's like, he's like, oh, he's just like, oh, the fucking Rockies are losing. Like his voice is normal. <laughs> Somebody must have lived. Must, he must have been like a normal guy at some point, and then he went into town. He maybe he's like living a little off grid, and then he went I, into town, and people just started being like, yeah, that's the dude who's more hardcore than all of us. They're like, that's the guy that used to work at Knott's Berry yeah. Farm and then he had like he, he had did, a bad he, divorce he had a yeah. bad acid trip and he just turned yeah, into his yeah. character yeah. That, at Knott's Berry Farm and now he's just full tilt just went into yeah. it he's a psychopath cause here's the thing like it, it's it, there's no way you're being brought into these courts and shit this much around normal people and not being like I mean may, may, you know, what am I doing 
Well, I think his whole I, identity is, is kind of hinges upon like I if I don't defend this, then what am I? I've got no. nothing. So exactly. I might have, yeah. He's defending his insanity. Exactly. Yeah. So that's I why mean, it's so like, beautiful to watch. He's, he's been arrested for like wild fishing. Like, it is a is bullshit like, thing. Yeah. yeah, it's like, I mean, honestly, that's like, I mean, and I understand how, like, you know, the raindrop never thinks it's responsible for the sea. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. like obviously, if everyone on Earth wild fish, it'd be, it'd be horrible for the ecology or whatever. Right. But, like, this dude, like, it's kind of crazy. They, they should be like, he lives, he obviously lives in a fucking tree stump or some shit. Let the guy fish. No, it's absurd. Let let the guy, he lives in Montana or some yeah. state that, like, has, like, a population of, like, you know, 28 people. Yeah. No, Man, it's like, it's it is annoying. Get hunt. The fact that you, you need a license to fish or hunt or, like, you need a license to grow plants in, in, in you know. Yeah. Not even, like, weed. You need, like, a license to grow tomatoes in, in places and stuff. Yeah. So that that is annoying. But then he takes it to its sort of ultimate conclusion where he's like, I let me go nude in the woods and let me fuck. Fish, yeah. It's the great Doug Stanhope joke where it's like, uh, give a man a fish, he eats for the day. Teach a man to fish. Now he's got to get a fishing license. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. It's just the, yeah. you know, the bureaucracy in America. Both in bond, contempt has already been established here. In face of all these really? witnesses, ma'am, where is Really? Why don't you back that ass up, or Pop it for a real one. How about you pop that pussy good, bitch? Saying that. He says that back to her. He goes, oh yeah, whore? I'd like to quote the great Little Wayne. What? <laughs> <laughs> look. He goes, look. Looky here. I bet you got a tight little pussy, don't you, Judge? <laughs> I love his, I love his schizophrenic binder. He just put, got Pokemon cards in there. It's just like butterfly <laughs> wings. and like It's just a scrapbook. I do I. I face those who would come against me. I communicated. I single handedly beat the French in eighteen twelve. <laughs> backed up the research, it's nice and neat. And I have total failure. I have total incompetency of the court because there is no evidence of Mr. Riley's office, nor of yours, ma'am, nor of this lady's here, nor even the fine police officers that are here today. When do they like I wanna see when they like they really fuck They get him, him, bro. They get him good. Yeah, right here they go, here yeah. they go. They start coming it's over. It's like pretty early in the thing. They start coming I over. I cannot, ma'am. I have to honor the Damn, the look at her fucking nose, man. dude. I honor the memory of those who... This is the lengths... Yeah. Th this is the lengths you have to go as a white man in America to actually have police brutalize you. Yeah, you gotta be That's in what's court funny. being called. You have to, like, judge. be playing a full-blown character. <laughs> 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 and then the police are like, all right, fucking fuck him up. Yeah. Yeah, you have to actively <laughs> disrupt the courtroom for five minutes straight. <laughs> the fact that they let him... Can you imagine if that was a black dude... Oh, it would have been over immediately. Like, like, you know, like a green m and m <laughs> and he's in court like, I am a green m and m and you can't... Uh, I, as a green m and m I do not identify as a human, and blah, blah. They fuck him. They start beating the shit out of him immediately. Unless you're Daryl Brooks, <laughs> at which point they go take it away well, and give yeah. us the whole trial. The courtroom for Daryl Brooks, even the, even the judge was in awe. Yeah. He, I think Dell Brooks was just like a. It, they were tired from glitch in the system. Yeah, and they were just kind of like. They were just like, we can't shut him down. This is kind of fun. Dude. We know he ran over people, but also it's like, God, look at him go. There he, should be a super he, team of these guys. It's like Daryl Brooks, the living man. Who's a serial killer represented himself in court? Bundy. Bundy, Bundy get Bundy. And in the there. judge was like, dude, God that damn would be. It, Bundy. That's the you, dream team. Remember when the judge yeah. for Bundy was like, God damn it, you're. You know, you you really wasted a talent, dude. dude people were charming back then. Bundy, that was my favorite part of the whole Bundy saga, was at the end of the trial, he was so charming, they knew that he killed and, like, ate a little, like, 13-year-old girl, and the judge was still, at the end of it, like, you would have been a fine hell of a lawyer. Well, it's crazy that the judge <laughs> would even say that, it's because he, there's no universe where he would have been a fine lawyer. He was a psychopath. There he would have been a great lawyer no, if the, he was allowed to he kill wasn't a 30 psychopath. women a week. I think there's probably a lot of psychopath lawyers that are very good. But I like, think he would have been. But why even say that? 
Like the, the families in there, you simply the families can't say in there. It. Like yeah. it's crazy to say that. Like, like, what the fuck are you thinking? Guys back then, old dudes back then, just didn't give a shit. No, it was nuts. It was like, my God, it's, like you charmed me. You're He's a like, good boy. <laughs> <laughs> You've been kind of funny and likable during yeah. this. You insane. charmed the you charmed the pants off of me. I don't know why you couldn't have just charmed the pants off all your victims. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Mister Bundy, you're yeah. a hell of a you're a gentleman and a scholar. You're right? obviously capable of seducing women. Obviously, occasionally you get a little too drunk. <laughs> Go a little buck wild Go sometimes. Buck wild. I love like how Dahmer is basically just about like, hey, sometimes people get drunk in a different way. <laughs> he was wasted. That's why he did it. He, I mean, uh, I don't know about every single uh, event of his, but like in the in the the show, it's like yeah, he's always going down to the bar and getting pretty hammered, and then he takes a that's home. crazy, dude. and then he drinks back at the house. I mean, he was like a Wisconsin. Um, I think it's Wisconsin. I think Wisconsin they is the highest percentage of alcoholism. Yeah, the the m most alcohol consumed is in Wisconsin. It's like yeah. it's insane. Everyone drinks. So uh, I think or maybe it was Minnesota. I'm pretty he sure was, there's a bar in Milwaukee, and it's called Taker and Drag Her Out. Milwaukee, maybe yeah. it is. I, I can't remember. One Milwaukee's the most red line city. In one America, of those too. cheese cheese curd states. But um, yeah. uh, yeah. So he was yeah. But uh, Dahmer just. You get couldn't, couldn't handle his liquor. He'd be, <laughs> he'd get a little drunk, and he, he thought the yeah. power. He thought the power tools were like a, a, a you know, a, a, a martini shaker. And <laughs> yeah, he's he's like, I'm making cocktails. He, he thinks he's making cocktails. He, meat, he, goes, he forgets. Uh, one of like, the ingredients. Oh my is your brain. God! I'm drilling your head. <laughs> Fuck! I thought he's like shaking a leg. Like, I was. I thought yeah. I was having fun with a squirt gun. <laughs> Get some bone marrow in this drink. Because <laughs> I heard bone marrow was really good for it. Oh, that bone was squirt gun. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Back to living man. Oh, shit. Real quick, since we brought it up, let's watch yeah. Bundy in court, dude. Bundy killed it in court. I'll try to find the clip where the judge compliments him. Yeah. By God, son. That's like the same judge is like, it's either jail or the Marines for you, boy. <laughs> A judge in Miami today followed the jury's recommendation and sentenced Theodore Bundy to die in the electric chair for the murder of two co-eds. Bundy is the 136th person under death sentence in Florida. Ed Rabel reports. Before pronouncing the sentence, Judge Edward Cowart let Bundy make a statement. And I'm not asking for mercy. For I find it somewhat absurd to ask for mercy for something I did not do. So I will be tortured for and will suffer for. How, do, what, imagine what his defense could have possibly been. He goes, judge, it was a couple of 70 women. I think like when it gets to that <laughs> stuff, like the lawyers are like, all right, we're just going to try to make it so you don't get the electric chair. Yeah. Like I, that's I, I what that's it goes what down it to is like, yeah. let's try to get you life. Like, But he defended himself. But also the best yeah, way to not get the death sentence is to admit you did it and then just be like, I'll cooperate. I'll tell you where some of the bodies are. Yeah, exactly. That's the best way to not right. get the death sentence. Or claim, yeah. claim insanity. No, because even like I actually have a buddy who just passed the bar and like he explained the insanity defense. And it's like that's for like if you like walk in on somebody like raping your mom and you murder them, that's like temporary insanity. Like there's no jury on earth that would like not be like be like that's murder like right. you went insane like that's crazy it needs to be a drastic yeah. scenario it needs yeah. to be something that any normal human being would, it would drive them nuts mm -hmm. yeah and receive the pain for that act but i will not share the burden for the guilt in imposing sentence judge coward cited the savagery of the crimes and what he called the <laughs> indifference of the retard. defendant this court independent of but in agreement with the advisory sentence rendered by the jury does hereby impose the death penalty upon the defendant Theodore Robert Bundy. Then, in an unexpected move, perhaps an act. All right, so wait, this isn't the judge. Wait, he, what he's was the to, unexpected he's about to move? Do it. Okay. After thought, Cowart stunned the courtroom with some parting words for Bundy. Oh, okay. take care of yourself, young man. Thank you. All right, I'll say that to you. He's still calling him young man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like respecting him. Yeah, this guy. Take right. care of yourself. It's a tragedy for this court to see it's such a total waste, I think, of humanity that I've experienced in this court. You're a bright young man. You made a good lawyer. I'd love to have you practice in front of me, but you want another way, partner. Yeah, it's like, why are, are you doing? doing? What's are you the talking point about? He has been like, ordered to, to the like, state to a wait setting of the day. I'd yeah. beat the fuck out of the Imagine being the father of one of his victims, God. like hearing a judge, some would, big fat so. 
I go, what the fuck are you talking about? Yeah. You go, how do you contain yourself in court? You know, I know you had a couple. I know you made a couple mistakes, son. <laughs> he goes, I, I get it. You're crazy, but I, you're kind of cool. He goes, <laughs> smart. <laughs> what he goes, you're smart as hell, and you would have been an awesome lawyer. Basically, the judge is being like, hey, listen, you're crazy, but not crazier than your average lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> you would have made a you would have made an incredible <laughs> law. Man. We all make mistakes, son. Yeah. Look at this. Anyways, go back to Living Man. To living well, man. the thing is, the best Living Man video is yet to... Living Man's like, I have killed 70 muskrats in the last 10 years. One <gasps> night that we could be free of this, this very type of thing. Stand up. Do that, Bailey. Get the fuck away from me. Unhand me, privateer. Who are these people touching me? Ma'am, I'm under duress. I cannot give you recognition. I'm constrained by the United States. Who gave them the authority to hand me? Who are these, Ben? Sir, you're a Bozeman native. What are you doing back in the British recognition? You should be ashamed of yourself. Gentlemen, this is an overthrow of the 17. What does that mean, dipshit? An overthrow of the Bill of Rights. It is an overthrow of Title 26, United States Code, and above all, it is an overthrow of universal law. This I'm, wait, I'm waiting for him to pull out. They're like, he's got a gun. He pulls out like a blunderbuss. <laughs> he <pulls laughs> like, he's got a hand cannon. The guy's like, oh, got a gun. He's got, <laughs> he's got a musket with him. <laughs> <laughs> he's like loading he's it loading with a fucking rod. rod. Trying to shoot the judge. <laughs> <laughs> gun, gun. <laughs> the cops dump like 30 rounds into him while he's trying to. <laughs> or they just walk over slowly. They're not even in a rush. Yeah. They're just like, okay. Oh, my nothing. God. They, yeah, they slowly walk over to him and they, just, <laughs> they shoot him. He's like, you're to feel this, you fucking bitch. <laughs> <laughs> feel my bird shot, whore. <laughs> oh, yeah. You can put me in your cuffs. The dull piercing of a, a, a musket ball. You will never stop me from living in a tent. <laughs> Take these leg irons off me. They put a big ball and chain on him. <laughs> <laughs> What's the one where they tackle? No, you got, that was, there we go. No, no, oh, no, 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 no. These are this. This is a highlight tape. No, we already went through this one though. But go back. There's one that's phenomenal. Go back, and I'll tell you which one it is. Mountain go Man down. found guilty. Raw footage no, 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 of no, no, Ernie no. Wayne Turtlegate. Go down. Go down. It's it's not the most popular one, but it's phenomenal. Go down. Down. Keep going. Okay, you got to look up Ernie Turtlegate then. You got to look up his name because this video is the beginning of it is the funniest thing I've ever seen. In my Ernie life. Turtlegate. There we go. Okay, down. There it is. No, that's not it. Oh, right here, right here. This yeah. is it. Oh, yeah, that's him getting arrested. Hell yeah. Dude, oh, man, he's back, dude. He's back. This is some actual, some wild jiu -jitsu. He goes, you he's thought got... you weren't going to see me again? What are these coats where it's like all those things hanging from it? Uh, a, a fringe. Yeah. He's, he's got a sign on him this time. It says, like, private property. Yeah. Hell yeah, living man. <laughs> Imagine him riding at full speed on the back of a horse down like a main like street <laughs> and he's like he's like you know like the pirates they would have like six different guns on them because they took like three minutes to reload and he's just emptying them up he's, he's shooting <laughs> he's shooting them throwing them away and a no him trespassing him sign with eight muskets <laughs> he's, got no he's got a saber he's cutting off a cop's head <laughs> in like Montana somewhere <laughs> it's all your <laughs> gang, gang, gang. He goes, the law won't protect you from my bullets, you sons of bitches. Taste my saver, officer. <laughs> Taste my saver, officer Bradley. If you interfere, you're going to let off me. We understand. Keep your hands off of me. There needs to be a Keep Rambo movie made about me. this guy. Keep your hands off of me. Keep your hands off of me. Your hands are your hands. My hands are mine. <laughs> Living as a sovereign citizen, every man's hands are supposed to keep to himself. <laughs> Look at his wife. Yeah, I love the. His wife's like, like, uh, no oh, shit. They're tackling him. Yeah, this is some, this is some jujitsu. Look at. What are we doing? He's trying back to. Off. Now he he grabbed the back of his hips. Living yeah. man's like trying to like finger this He's, guy. That yeah. is such a strange defense. I know. He's like, get closer Man. to me. Leave me alone. Deserve them. 
Leave me alone, Quince. I have done no wrong to you. Leave me alone, I have done nothing. Why has no one been able to tell him what's wrong? I fucked one trout. Why has no one been able to tell him what's wrong? Back off. Are you getting in? I love the I love the people trying to defend it. For Christ's sakes, I let one gopher <laughs> crawl up my ass, and this is how the state of Montana treats living man. It was one gopher. <laughs> he's just he's just lying naked. They in can a field. crawl wherever they want, Your Honor. <laughs> Who, well, how do you know the gopher doesn't know it's just a tree? <laughs> just simple gopher. Lock the gopher up, your honor. The crevices in my anus are no different than, <laughs> than a tree for that gopher. You're hurting me. You're hurting the living man. My ass is not your property. <laughs> my ass is a sovereign citizen. <laughs> You a, have no jurisdiction <laughs> over my ass. <laughs> <laughs> this ass is out of your jurisdiction. <laughs> Look at the judge just watching in the hallway. Just yeah, like, oh, the God. She's like, she's like over it. She's like, another, just another day at the Montana courthouse. <laughs> yeah, there's sovereign like, citizen dipshits come here every day. A clerk's in the back. Like, what's going on? She's like, oh, it's the living man. It's the living <laughs> it's man. The living man. Like, okay, yeah, but go back to my office. <laughs> yeah, I love these fucking losers that he brings to court with him. 1776, the Treaty of 1813 dictates that my ass is not yours. This is slavery. We're being pushed off this land. I'm going to find you in contempt as well. You can pin me down and fuck me, but it's not <laughs> right. <laughs> you can pin me down and fuck me, but just I hope you know you'll never be as good as that gopher. <laughs> Go ahead, suck my cock. <laughs> you think it'll feel as good as the trout? You better not take me back there and sodomize me with a nightstick. I'll I tell you right God. now in this courtroom, no one has sucked the living man off better than that rainbow <laughs> trout. And if you think just simply sucking my dick in the middle of court will stop me from throwing a fit. I dare you. I double dare you. I double dare you. Imagine, imagine if they took it back there and he, they like really brutalized him. That's why he's fighting so hard. <laughs> they really <laughs> fucked really him, really fuck him up. They really fuck him up. They're like running a train on him. <laughs> <laughs> They're like running a train on him. <laughs> and he's getting... He's, he's just... And he, he goes, his voice goes from, Hey, stop. Stop. Hey, what do you... Ah! <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I have to fight them the only way I know how. They're gonna sodomize me, your judge. Oh, God. oh motherfucker! I'm afraid you're gonna break my wrist and damage my shoulder. I am an aging fellow with him. I understand. I'm asking politely, shaking your hand back. When I comply. It will not be because contract is established. Do you comprehend that? When I comply, I'm not establishing contract. Let me in. He's, he's, the cop's like, I don't know what that means. Dude. Like nobody cares. It doesn't. Yeah. Because that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Let's get on your back, you old fuck. But that's why the cop is also like a, a fucking idiot. Just like, yes, we get it. Yeah, exactly. They just start ripping his pants off. <laughs> no, no. All right. I stand on a solid foundation being my constitution. Who's this guy? This is living, like living man junior? I love my country and I love my freedom. I love these guys who think their speeches are going to work. Mm -hmm. The cops can't be like, let him go. Yeah. What, is your, what is your question, sir? My question is... <laughs> Is what did Ernie do wrong? What did he do wrong? He resisted he arrest. Goes, the trout said yes. <laughs> the procedure and was no what, what, no jurisdiction. what are the procedures? To follow. The, the procedures? The court has no jurisdiction. This court has never answered for one thing. All of the procedures for selecting a jury. continue to speak. It'd be crazy if they sent him to a mental asylum. 
Put your hands yeah. underneath. My yeah, yeah. <laughs> that'd, be, that'd be the ultimate. The, that'd be the ultimate. And they're just like, he's a schizophrenic. He yeah. He thinks he's in like the old frontier. That'd be so fucked up. He's like, I am not a schizophrenic. I will not take my pills, Nurse Ratchet. <laughs> he's, like, <laughs> he's, <laughs> he's like, my pudding sucks. <laughs> it was Mancini keeps stealing my gopher meat. <laughs> He goes, hello, chief. I knew many of your kind when I lived in Montana. <laughs> well, nice to meet a fellow Native American. <laughs> nice to f- meet a fellow Native chief. <laughs> what tribe are you from? No, how are you so... I, you, who taught you how to play basketball this well? <laughs> He's playing basketball. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Imagine being like a white guy in prison and you have to click up with a living man. <laughs> Oh, he'd be a great cellmate. Oh, yeah. He'd be a great... Well, I know he'd be a horror show cellmate. Why? Well, because he can't protect you? Yeah, no, because he sucks, dude. Because well, at least so you annoying. know he's not going to be, like, violent. Yeah, I What guess. if he is? What if What if he's, like, <laughs> he's crazy like, in, in, like, prison? He's like, where's my Snickers bar, bitch? He goes, he goes, <laughs> <laughs> he asks, he <laughs> <laughs> Yes, yes, what? No, no, no. <laughs> well, the prison thing. So, what, what is the thing in prison where you like you do a favor for some, or they somebody does a favor for you, and then like now you now you now you own it. He's a bitch. Yeah, hold my. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he's like hold on to the fringe. He's like cutting fringe into all of his uniforms and shit. He's like making his bitches. <laughs> <laughs> Better put those skittles on your lips. I want to be plump and red, bitch. <laughs> all these people well, here. No, you know, listen. All these people remove my materials. Get my hat. My constitution. You don't follow. You're not going back there or no, a step closer to. Get my right. constitution. There's a video. Right. There's a. There's right. the best video. What else you got? Joe? By the way, I almost want to take back. the. No, no, no. Go look, back. Look at look, look at this for dude, a second. Dude, there's one more video. It's the judge looks exactly like Rowdy Roddy Piper. <laughs> 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 Patty Pimblett is running a courthouse in Montana. Oh, you're right. She looks like Patty Pimblett when he goes on his when he when he goes on his binges. Yeah, yeah. The judge just looks just like Patty Pimblett doing a fucking doing a doing a mukbang. How much time was it? Go. There's one more. Remember the video where he opens the door? You have to find that video. What? There's a video. Look up Ernie Turtlegate again. Go back. There's a video where he opens up a door and people are laughing at him. Go down. I'll let you hear. I Raw footage of Ernie Turtlegate no, in three, three Forks? Go this down. has almost no, a million views. No, that's the most famous one. Go down. Keep going down. I'll let you know. It's I'll know it immediately. That one. Right here? That's the video, but it's a guy like Anna. Oh, no. The, the Sovereign Citizen's Legal Standing. Go down. That's it. That's it. That's oh, hell video. yeah. This one's the oh, best one. Oh, where he stands one. on the book? Yeah, this is the best one. Oh, look at him. Oh, he's, he's got a whole... They start laughing. <laughs> what do I stand on? They're like, it's the living man is back. Wait, wait, wait. He opens the door to the... They're opening the court. He opens he's the standing, door like it's a Halloween movie. Yeah, he's standing on a Bible. He's standing on, on the Constitution. He's standing on a Bible in the Constitution, and he has a uh, plaid fucking... He looks like a lumberjack. He looks like a lumberjack, and he's wearing his Davy Crockett hat, and he opens the door to the courtroom, and everyone laughs at him. Imagine you're sitting there in your office. It's a boring office job. The door swings open. You look up, and it's the living man staying on a Bible and a Constitution. He's got a private <laughs> property sign hanging around his neck. <laughs> the living man. And they know he's harmless. Like know. They know he's they're not in danger. He does it so dramatically, though. Yeah. It's amazing. He's, Hello, I just walked here from Thunder Mountain. <laughs> I'm, an, I'm an animatronic figure come to life. <laughs> just watch it. It's the best. Lest any think I'm not here on time and before. This is what I stand on. You're on time. They're laughing at him. <laughs> he closes the door. He goes, I don't think you got my entrance. I'm I don't gonna, see what's so funny about I'm going to redo my entrance. You all <laughs> laughed at me. It's crazy. This is a bitchin' entrance. <laughs> he says bitchin'. <laughs> he looks over. He goes, can you believe they laughed at me? He goes on his iPhone. That was a bunch of BS. He goes, give me my vape. <laughs> starts, vaping. <laughs> 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 starts vaping. <laughs> Give me my vape. Get a close up on the Constitution that I was standing on. Imagine him like getting on like you know a donkey yeah. or some shit, and he like rides yes, around the corner. To <laughs> what is that? The Tim Burton <laughs> Holy Bible? Yeah, what Bible <laughs> is that? Fuck. They defy and deny all three. 
He's also like you, you can't be like a lumberjack and wear Carhartt. Don't you have to like make wear clothes you made. I don't know. That's what I would assume too. You can't really wear like you're buying from a big corporation. Corporation clothes, yeah. <sighs> Can you believe they laughed at me? Give them ten minutes and they won't this time. Hold on. Wait, just wait till I open this door with my hard cock out. <laughs> That's the next step. <laughs> but like, whip it out, Ernie. He's he goes, like, yes. He goes, hold on, let me chub up before I open be the so door. so funny with my cock out. You're all laughing at me. I go, this is a full boner. Threatened me with ten days in jail, and I said, well, I ten days in jail. They go, Ernie, you're going to spend ten days in jail if you do this again. He goes, Oh, he liked that joke. Living man like that. He's like, you're fucking killing me tonight. America rocks, though. Like, this is, these guys make this country great. <laughs> <laughs> Can we see your sign, honey? These guys rule. What does it say? Can we see your sign, honey? No hunting or trespassing under the penalty of law equity. My asshole is mine and mine alone. <laughs> He goes, Trout, it, my sign says, Trout can't say no. <laughs> All right, living man. Open that door up again, buddy. Open that door up. Take two. He's got his handkerchief out. Maybe they were laughing because I didn't blow my nose. Times a day. I must have had snot on my nose. What is he doing still standing at this door? Well, he, they wait for him to... They're like, they're not They're not open. Oh, yet. he's not going to let them out? No, he's not. They're not open. So, there's I think. never been any constitutional... Your constitutional rights... But yeah, this is the first five seconds of that video. The funniest thing I've ever seen. Oh, now it's open again. For the balance... You gotta go back to the the open the, the new open. For the other division, what is your jurisdiction? Or did it open up? I am not a war court, Mr. Trogate. I have jurisdiction by the state. No, you don't. Um, there's never you've been, been a charged state. with Stormy. There's never been a state. There's only been a corporation. Yeah. Yeah. Show me in history where there's been a Montana so, state. Mr. Show Mr. me the law. Show me the law. I absolutely challenge his jurisdiction. And all right. Show me the law in the law book that says my ass is under your control. <laughs> Show me the law where it says I can't. Here we go. Sovereign what? citizens appear in court. Let's watch. Sovereign Anybody citizens kick ass, dude. Specific and articulate facts of a crime to lead to a car frisk or a arrest. Because they need that in order to arrest us. And there is none. There is no specific and articulate facts of a crime to lead to a car frisk or an arrest. There's nothing. You guys don't have it. Well, you're nuts. Because it doesn't exist because we're not criminals. No, but when the officers started getting scary, I... It's don't... weird to be a sovereign citizen because they're always so convinced that they've figured it all out and there's no way they could possibly, like, go to court, that's, go to jail. That's the thing. And that's why it's so funny to watch them be taken away because it's like, it's not how it works. Nobody sets themselves up for failure better than a sovereign citizen because they haven't understood, like, what for people who, like, trout and, like, spout about natural law... They really seem to get their asses kicked by guys with guns when they don't have guns. <laughs> you know yeah. what I mean? Like, yeah, you think exactly. they'd understand that, like, this person in front of me I has the ability to put me in a cage. And, like, they, but for some reason, they, they spout about natural law, but for some reason, they can't comprehend the idea that they are the weakest person in this line right now. Mm -hmm. Like, what I'm scared of is a sovereign citizen with 30 AR 15s in their fucking cabinet. Well, not what I'm scared of, what I look up to. You know what I mean? Yeah, like like a uh, fucking Ruby Ridge. Yeah, that guy yeah. rock. I mean, it, he was like really racist, but that guy rock. But but yeah, so no, it's like the the legal way to approach this in a, in an intelligent way is is when you get somebody who's like challenging the Supreme Court and and you've got an interpretation of the law that is defended by a bunch of different evidence. But yeah, it's just a hillbilly. Yeah, yeah the Bundy nothing. Ranch guy. Just something to base your argument on. Yeah, and you, you've got lunatics. Yeah, that are are doing it in these cases. But yeah, yeah. Lock the doors. You lock the doors. I mean, you stayed in your car for a half an hour. Right? Taking them for due process, absolutely. But I would not give due process and look up the code. Did you resist arrest? In no way, shape, or form did I resist arrest. That's why Officer B told me when I agreed with identification. When they pulled you out of the vehicle, did you resist what they were trying to ask you to do? Absolutely not. Did you resist their commands? Absolutely not. Officer B said I may leave with identification. Are you resisting right there? Their 
command. You resist him. I'm asking them what they're doing. How many officers does it take that's holding you down right there? He goes, how many men would it take to hold you down? Just, <laughs> just, it's not a, it's not for the court. It's not for the court. Just personal reasons. He how goes, many men would it take to hold you down, do what we want with you? Give me your honest give me opinion. Your, give me an honest estimate. Uh, 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 judge, this is not for the court. How many men do you think it would take to hold you down? <laughs> and they go, off the damn record now. Off the record, Judge. <laughs> it's between us. <laughs> Real quick, how many men do you think it would take to hold you down? <laughs> He's talking like that. <laughs> <laughs> like a good old boy. Like, yeah. Off the record, Judge. <laughs> Real quick, how many men do you think <laughs> How many? What, what would it take? What would it take to get you back to my place after this? <laughs> He's talking like a Louisiana. Like, how about dandy. You, How about you say I get you off and you suck my dick for forty? <laughs> Listen, if I if I if I get you out of here, will you suck my dick for forty years? Forty years. For the next forty years, will you suck my dick? Will, I get will you, you suck my dick for forty years? <laughs> Yeah. What the fuck is that? <laughs> like, it's like, be with me. Yeah, he's like, that's the this. sentence. He's like, sentence. I sentence you to 40 years of sucking me it, off. You could, either, you could either go away for the lie or suck my dick for 40 years. <laughs> <laughs> Off the record, Jack! <laughs> Off the record! Uh... I've seen them there? all have their hands off me, so I'm seeing four around me, but I'm not seeing four pushing on me at all. I'm seeing one. Are there four officers right there? There's four officers standing around me, but they're not this pushing This is after me. you've been in the car for 30 minutes, is that correct? Begging for due process, absolutely. Dude, imagine like serving what this are these woman people? at Starbucks. Saw some numbers on a piece of paper. Do you know what those numbers are? These people look like Rob Zombie fucking movie characters. Who is the guy? Yeah. I don't know. Who but he is looks this like Ted he's Bundy fucking, guy? Yeah, he looks like he's about to kill a family. Yeah, of four Richard in a Ramirez hotel. is sitting next to him. I love these dudes. They're all look just sitting there. I love like, these fucking dudes. I love what, yeah, these these guys right here, like these, like the law officers and shit, yeah. like sitting in the corner, they're just like fucking hippies. Yeah, you know that dude's like seen like a five year old get killed in a drive by, and now yeah. he's like sitting in a court and he's just like, oh. Yeah, he has fuck. no time for like adults that like have like devoted their life yeah. to like eating berries. He's like, we have a, we have no idea what this guy goes through. You can see the out. different reactions by the ages too. Like you can see here, like yeah. this guy in, in the foreground, the he's, old, he's guy. old enough to just be like, this is a fact. Yeah, yeah, he's still travesty. haunted by the serial killer he never caught. You go back one age. <laughs> exactly. He's like, I saw a baby in a microwave. You fucking think this is, this is, I need this shit right now. <laughs> I got time for these two fucking hippies. Oh, they're upset because you baby in a microwave. And you go like a little bit younger, though, and you see this guy's just kind of still like curious. Yeah, it's like, like a renaissance. Like, oh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. Uh, I didn't know they give you Crocs in prison. <laughs> yeah, they give you sick ass slips, dude. Man, they like prison. Really, like it's like if you go to prison, they like they do like they're like welcome to prison. Time to get loked up. <laughs> like it's time to look all fucking cool as shit. Welcome here's, to prison. Here's some dope ass tees. Welcome to prison. Here's some dope ass <laughs> fucking. Here's some dope pajamas <laughs> and some really cool high socks. Uh. Yeah, like the way those sleeves are cut are pretty cool. Is that resisting of arrest? For not forcibly trying to get away? Yeah, your actions will still resist. Listen here, you fucking hippie. Officer, uh, no. You're saying that you do not know what the code six, six, the code I love is. how they think. Yeah. They always think they're about to like fucking like stump everybody. Well, they've got this new twist on the law. They always think they've fully figured it out, <laughs> and that they're going to say something, and the judge goes, "Oh my god, you're right. Fuck, you're we're free to leave." Like, why didn't we cover that in law school? Yeah, like the judge is going to be like, "What?" <laughs> <laughs> I have a I have a theory. This is like what I want to happen. Okay, and this is what solve all this shit. But is six, you just, million, six million more? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's like a solution I'm coming up with in my head. No, uh, what you need is there need to be, you need to, we need to bring back caning. You need to just be You've like. You've said this many times. I, you, I th swear you to think God. if people were beaten. No, not beaten. I mean, like, no. it's just a flexible cane. It doesn't, it can't kill you. It'll just really fucking hurt. And just like cane these people like 30 times. They'll stop doing this. 
that would fix if these had a guy guys. To go, wow. If you had like one of those Indian police officers, you see those videos in like India where yeah. the guy's just like, get the fuck out of here. And he's like yeah, whipping yeah, somebody's yeah. being annoying. Just do that. That it, would stop guys save, like this. Save us so much tax money just wasted in courts. Like, I don't know what these people are arrested for, but they to stop them from being dipshits, you just got to be able to, like, they can cane you. Mm-hmm. The only problem is you'd end up with a hundred more guys who are like, I want to get caned because they're like perverts. I, I don't know about that, but I'll tell you right now, I, I would take yeah, it. Yeah, it's cane. like, there'd be a lot of guys while they're getting caned jacking off. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, like, like, yeah, and they're like, do you have any hot wax? <laughs> <laughs> but like, they imagine, were going, like, do it harder. <laughs> imagine if he got pulled There'd be over. businessmen trying to get in trouble so they get caned. Yeah, Japanese businessmen. <laughs> Japanese businessmen would be like, like, oh, ooh. maybe tonight I get a cane. <laughs> they're like, oh, shit. <laughs> oh, <laughs> maybe I'll be a naughty boy. I do something so bad to battle rules that they cane the room. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> I've been a naughty boy. I've been a naughty boy. <laughs> oh, a little drunk driving room. Uh, they uh, came to me. Uh, uh, now I check off the room when they came to me. There's going to be 40 I lashes. I a big bank tonight. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> How many a cane? <laughs> How many a cane do I get? They all talk like the guy from Inception. The officer <laughs> walks up to his car and he has his hands out already. Like, he's like, get arrested. He goes, he goes, oh, yeah, yeah, do it. Do it. Have to do a rule. He's like, do it or do it or not. Yes, I am ready for the kid rule. go very good. But like, if you got pulled over and the cop was like, if the cop was like, it's eight hundred bucks, or I'm just gonna can you like ten times, you'd be like, yeah, just do it. You'd be rather be hit. You fuck yeah. But how hard is it? Is it really? It's gonna fucking hurt. But it's gonna be not gonna hurt as bad as eight hundred bucks. You're gonna does need it, some neosporin. Does it maybe make a mark? That, yeah, dude. Does it cut? You'll be you? bleeding. No. We You're bleed? gonna be bleeding. No, this is gonna make a mark and hurt. It's no, like a the... flexible bamboo rod. No, that's gonna break skin. Uh, if it, you're hitting them like multiple times, if I whap you, like, bare ass. No, just like enclosed. You're just standing there and they're just hitting. I you. think there'd be more crime. I think people would rather get cane than pay. I that's think, the thing. I think it clean up the streets, low key. I think we if they're like just start caning psychopaths. New criminals no. would surface, and they'd all why be would, perverts. Why would psychos care about getting caned? If you're a psycho, they like love the pain. I mean, like we should just—they're not like—they're not like afraid of getting. Yeah, caned. there's a there's a guy who comes into you, he's a pervert. He comes into the train station, and he's always got a big T-shirt on, but his ass is his pants are down with his cocks exposed, and his ass cheeks are out. <laughs> but he's always got a big T-shirt on. What he does is he flashes women, and all they could do is say, "You have to leave." That's all they could do is they like you can't be here, and if he sticks around, the cops come and they arrest him for something. Yeah. But like if they had a guy there with a fucking cane, and anytime he saw that guy, he just started hitting him until the guy left. That guy would stop coming back to the station until his friends him. find out. Oh wait, they caned you there, and that's oh, and then our horny. thing. <laughs> yeah, do you, do you guys think there's like an army of horny guys that want to get caned? There are. That's you don't understand what this country is built on. Yeah. Horny men that want to be abused. <laughs> <laughs> That's You're some underestimating shit. the amount you of men. You don't understand. <laughs> this crowd was put in by this pick was made by a man. The amount of Japanese businessmen that use the system. <laughs> <laughs> this pick was made purposely commit crimes so they could come. <laughs> <laughs> All right, a little more of the sovereign citizen shit. These, okay. these sovereign citizens suck ass. It's too good. It's too good. Play the North Korean propaganda. It's too fucking All right. good. You're going to flip your shit. All right. This is the North Korean. John, explain what this is. Okay. So this is a this is a video. They play North Koreans in North Korea that tells them what America's like. Okay. We'll wrap it up on this. How Americans live today. It's like a homeless shelter. That's what they think. This is Eastern Europe. These are all the footages from Eastern Europe. And they're saying so it's, it's America. So it's not America? Yeah. Dramatic music. This is how- Did the guy literally just say dramatic music? Yeah, it's like he's dictating what's playing. Oh, okay. I thought that's, I thought they're, I thought they made it so bad that they don't even have the music. They well, just have. A I guess because half the people in North Korea are blind because they can't afford. They can't like have cataract surgery, so because <laughs> they have no doctors in their country. Half so. the people are blind. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, that's literally a problem. Watch the whole documentary on it. Well, Americans live to the gay, drinking coffee made from snow and living in tents and buying guns to kill each other, especially children. (laughs) Some people complain about the guns. (laughs) This is hilarious. Living on the streets. None of these shots are of anything in America. It's Europe, yeah. America. 
It's just like a bunch of trash out in front of a gate. And they're like, yeah. this is America. It's- There's so much good footage of trash in America. Yeah, I know. Like, yeah, we have a lot of shitty things. Show it. Yeah, but your Eastern Europe's intrinsically shittier. You know what I mean? Yeah. The people are sure. uglier. Of course. Yeah, sure. Well, I mean, I've, uh, so far, I've seen a lot worse in America. These trees are full of snow. You'll see that there are no birds. They've been eaten by the people who live in these tents and corridors. <laughs> this man awaits heroin. <laughs> Their houses blow down very easily. <laughs> and they have to live in tents like, like they heard about tornadoes. I just love this man awaits his heroin. I kind of want to get that guy just going into a white I, wanna, I wanna get that tattooed on my back. This man awaits, <laughs> this man his, heroin. awaits his heroin. This man will show us his tent with pride. Is that a Green Bay Packers? Yeah, it's a Packers fan. He points to his items, but the camera notices his roof has fallen down. It's a f- this is common in modern-day America. Like we got the American sure. Red Cross supplies curtains and walls from material from North Korea. Yeah. Again, there are no birds in the trees apart from these. <laughs> it's the winter! <laughs> Wait, keep, it's a keep watching, keep watching. <laughs> Which will be eaten on Tuesday. <laughs> they are yummy. <laughs> you can also eat the snow, of which there is plenty. In the They're really United obsessed States. with eating snow. So this right. is what's crazy is I think they like they like how they like shit sucks so bad in North Korea. How can we so show them that America's worse? And they have to be like, yeah, they eat birds in snow. That's what they live off of. So that's as bad as it. Can yeah, possibly. no, it's it's like idiots that don't understand America. Well, they're like they're like, well, we eat rabbits and fucking. We only eat snow when we're really thirsty, and it's mm. like they're like they eat it all the time and they eat well, birds. They also know that like the people living there don't understand America, so they'll buy this shit. Yeah, this so they're like whatever. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. interesting. Yeah, you yeah. know. Are we, wait, how long have we done? Hour and one. We got juice. Come on, we got some, let's just talk shit. Uh, Let's talk some shit, bitch. Let's talk some shit. Fuck you. Fuck you. Yeah, fuck you, Fuck you, dude. You fucking hands. You've worn that jacket for like a week straight, bro. Oh, really? Did I give you that? Yeah, it's Joey's. Yeah, you just wear hand-me-down Joey jackets, dude. That was the grit jacket. That's because Joey Joey and I have the closest connection uh, known to man. Yeah, I bet you fucking do. Connection between his dick and your ass. Oh, fuck. Hey, don't you go there. (laughs) How dare you, asshole. (laughs) You call me an asshole? (laughs) Fucking asshole. (laughs) There actually is kind of a funny origin story. Story about there why is. I we gave on, you the yeah, tell yeah, you we guys were on were sucking each other off. On we were on mushrooms. mushrooms. We were sucking each other dry. Yeah. Sucking and fucking. And no, it was it was uh, uh, during the pandemic. We were joining in my backyard to watch UFCs projected against the wall. What a time! That was the greatest time ever. Time. That was honestly yeah this the best the time ever because like there was no pressure. We had no nothing. We did mattered. Yeah, it was great. It, nothing, nothing was up to us. It was great back then. Just it, getting six hundred a week, not giving a fuck. every problem in your life had nothing yeah. to do with you. Yeah. Hey, you couldn't do anything about it, buddy boy. Yeah. Exactly. Just get hammered and fucking try and kill yourself as soon <laughs> as possible. It was a free ticket to just get hammered and be completely irresponsible. And then so, but we'd gather and get hammered in the backyard and uh, project the UFC onto our wall. And at some point, somebody brought, like, a huge bag of mushrooms. Who was that? We, uh, Timish. Timish. Timish had them, and we just took some from his S- so, big bag. Yeah, one of our friends had a huge bag of mushrooms, and somebody was, I think Devin was like, hey, let's eat some of these mushrooms. And so we did. Ate a bunch of them. I ate too many. Or People just were just putting their hands into a thing and eating, like, more. So the, nobody was, like balancing how much they took yeah. so it was just like some people had more than others you and johnny were on like high doses of adderall and had we were all already <laughs> drunk so you had like a million we had like a it, it, i'm also just ba- i i don't you also hate, well the mushrooms. You hate mushrooms yeah you're the only person i've ever been i've ever been on with uh, who's on mushrooms and you turn violent like they don't make you like peaceful. violent yeah you get on mushrooms and you, well, start, I, you started crazy you started like, i didn't do violence you started like bullying me and being like you started like hitting me no, oh, I did d- dude, he could totally. You, you, dude, I would totally fucking see that. Joey dude. gets really yes, bullshit. Dude. No, mushrooms bullshit. do the opposite. Yes, they don't. They don't show Joey like about, kindness. Bro? What are you talking about, dude? When you're, dude, you will totally be a bully on mushrooms. 
Not okay. So here's what Devin's trying to wrestle you. Right? He's trying to wrestle you. No, when people do mushrooms, people right? do mushrooms no. they try, no, no. He gets like it's like not it's not silly like that. It's yeah. mean. <laughs> I was kind of bullying you on mushrooms a little bit. When but Joey we coming on, d- was on know. mushrooms with me, Joey yeah. would be like, he'd be, he'd just be like, he just like hit me. That's not true at That's all. That's so, so weird. Here's actually what happened. What'd Devin is do? like fucking make. He's like not remembering. Nah, nah I totally I remember Devin. the whole thing. Nah. So I'll tell you what happened. I'll tell you what I did was not because you're panicking when you're on mushrooms. So you panic and you go, you turn into a bully to try and get out of the panic. Yeah. Because you're, you're, like, you're trying to bully the mushrooms. Like, I can't control the mushrooms, so I have to control Devin's demeanor. Yeah. I'm going to smack him around You go, what bit. are you, gay, Devin? What are you, what are you seeing you, God, you, fag? You asked him? He was asking you that? No, I'm kidding, oh, but he okay. might as well have said that. That's that's the feeling. See, that's what I'm saying. He's talking nonsense. He's trying you to hit be, me. He's trying to be bunch. funny for the podcast. You hit me. No, so what I, <laughs> what I actually did. What Look I at actually, him treading water right now. What I actually did, and this is, a, this is the truth, is I... Devin was like really high in mushrooms. I I, I was I, not that high, and I, I I was like he was. He was like sleeping face down on the See, couch. Talked him off. It was one of those things you just like want. I just wanted I to go, keep you, looking you at, a, to at a. <laughs> <laughs> I go listen. I know when a friend needs to be sucked. You're like you need a milking, Debbie. No, but so what actually happened was I I was like oh let me get you a glass of water because mm-hmm. you look you, you know like you you look tired you you've been on mushrooms you've been drinking yeah so I gave him a glass of water. Yeah. And then as soon as I gave it to him, what? for some reason, I thought it would be funny to flip it on him and like just oh, like spill it in his face. Spill it in his face and soak him. It's not really a nice thing. Like to a do bully. Like that's the yeah. one thing mushrooms <laughs> are supposed mean. to mushrooms are supposed to make everybody be like, oh, why would I yeah, do you that? Don't do pranks on Why would mushrooms? I do that to my friend? That's what I'm saying. Mushrooms react differently to Joey and he turns it's like it's <laughs> Joe, Joey's he might like, as well be doing meth. But that's Joey's, like, Joey's like, so what I did is I lined his room with mouse traps and laid a bunch of race cars down. And then Joey goes, Classic mushrooms. A pink can swung down. Took a blowtorch yeah. to the end of a doorknob. <laughs> so I put a bunch that, of kerosene and a rope, and I told him to climb it. <laughs> but my point is, this is what Devin considers violence: is I flipped a water on him. Did he, he slapped you? He no. kept, he kept being like Devin. Fucking what is? Oh, like I fucking did, did that. that. Yeah. But when you're on that's mushrooms, that's violence to Devin. When you're on that. mushrooms, that is no, it's the, not the time replacement. But anyways, I flipped the I'm water. Saying Joe on is the him. only yeah. person. I soaked him. Yeah, no, I do. I yeah. It's you not, hate mushrooms. You turn it like they they react. Joe's I try like, to reject. You react. Joe's like, with, like yeah. I locked him in a room that was pitch black, <laughs> and I threw a rattlesnake inside. <laughs> I hung a bunch of tasers that were on from string and made him run through a hallway. I, it was a, it, you know. Uh, but so, uh, so anyways, let yeah. me finish this. Yeah, yeah. Soaked him, and then I felt so fucking bad. Oh, okay. Yeah. That he was like all cold. You are a sweet little dumpling sometimes. I yeah. know. I, I always am. Yeah. But he was soaked, and I felt so bad that I'm like, let me give you this jacket. And then so that's no, why you, he has that did, jacket. It wasn't even that. Oh. I, was in, I was in the doorway, and I was like standing there. And he's real cold and, and you, shivering. You looked yeah. at Devin just, looks like a I chihuahua. I was staring at you wet. guys, and we were all in mushrooms. And Joey goes to everybody, he goes, Devin looks like Vincent Gallo right now. <laughs> <laughs> and then everyone laughed. Then you were like, Devin, you have to keep that. Because I, I don't know. So some Vincent Gallo thing do you, you said. Do you remember Joey when we would play Badman a bunch? Yeah, that rock. That was so much. This is that's what fun. heaven was like. We had nothing to worry about. We had we didn't yeah. do shit. We had we had we had we had everything we needed. It's and fun. we just did what we wanted. And when we were hanging out together, we had a group of like five dudes. We were just doing what we wanted. And we and like it was honestly just like a lot of badminton and watching Magnum PI. Yeah, and, it, and John cooking amazing food and yeah. doing funny goofs with the delivery drivers. I re- I made a gay porno. I wrote the gay porno. You wrote, wrote the Devin erotic. Mark. You wrote the erotic fan. Yeah, I sat down for an hour. Fashion, yeah. It was like a real like Greek philosophy thing. Like we we're all like wandering the woods, being like, "Are you going to write a gay porn?" And like Joey would wake up and. It is quite funny yeah. though that uh, to us it's the greatest time of our lives, and and for many it was a nightmare. Well, because yeah. we were we were big enough losers to appreciate it. Yeah, Timish wasn't having a I good time. I still hated it. Like, we all... Well, no, for, like, all, like, a lot of people, like, you know, their businesses got ruined. Yeah, and, well, for me, it was right. the, a really good two weeks of my life. I, me it was too. A great two weeks. But I loved like, it. But I, like, I enjoyed it for about a month and a half, and then I was like, all yeah. right, I hate a lot of the... Th- I hate a lot of the restrictions, and it's starting the to rest really of the drive pandemic, me crazy. Yeah, the rest it of the pandemic started getting sucked, nuts. Yeah. 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 But, you think they're gonna but bring there back- was a good th- th- that summer when we would go and watch UFCs in your backyard, and had nothing to worry about. We're like, yeah, same thing. We'll, let's I'll see you tomorrow. 
that we had to like pass out. We get breakfast burritos. That was what was crazy. It was like it's like okay, it's the apocalypse, but there's still Postmates. Yeah. So how bad is it? Yeah. They're not I was shutting telling off every Postmates your TV. driver. I was pansexual. That's right. You would you great. would answer the door for Postmates drivers and be like, "Hey, thanks, dude. I'm pansexual." By yeah, the way. yeah. And we had like a rotating cast of characters that come into the into Joey's place. So the first week it was like Jordan, then it was like Mark. Mm-hmm. It was awesome. Yeah. John showed off his uh, cooking chops. He really was so proud of how he could cook. Guess what, guys? They're gonna put my bolognese on the menu. At tracks, yeah. where at a gay club? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, at, yeah. The, at, the, at a gay club. Special ingredient, uh, John. Special Jizz. ingredient. It's it's gonna say Devin Costa's world famous cumanese. <laughs> <laughs> <It's gonna> be... <laughs> Yeah. What What were you about to say before I fucking roasted you? No, that's how good my bolognese is, dude. So, Where are uh, they going to put it out on the menu? Tracks. You didn't say. At, at my restaurant. Oh, it tracks. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Who's going to make it? Not you, I hope. No, I'm not going to make it. They just, I have the recipe. It's so, I mean, it's literally just Marcel Hazan's bolognese. So are they going to, they're going to use that and put it on spaghetti? Uh, Bugatini, I think. What is Bugatini? I think it's the one that has, it's like spaghetti, but it's a little thicker and it's got a hole going through the whole thing. Oh, okay. Yeah, it picks up sauce. I thought that was called rigatoni. No, rigatoni is a, th- a bigger hole. This is literally like almost just a little bit thicker than spaghetti, and there's this but really it's long? thin hole. It's long. There's oh, a thin okay. hole that runs through it. Just long spaghetti. Yeah, I really, God, I really smacked my arm on it. Yeah, you did. In here, yeah. yeah. I'm you must smack have you gotten next. fucked up in the orgy. No, 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 no. Yeah. <laughs> the gay orgy, you had to hold yourself up as they railed you. are projecting. You. No, You're I projecting. get it. Your elbow, you've got like jacking off elbow. You got no, jacked. I yeah. actually, actually went to uh, the Cha Cha Lounge recently, and inside the bathroom, there was on the wall Devin Costa's phone number. And oh, it just God. Said, it just, <laughs> was it his handwriting? It was his handwriting. It was on the wall. And it just said, DC, no loads denied. <laughs> <laughs> his phone number. And I was like, what? And I didn't believe it. So I texted I, I texted him, and it was Dev. And he, he got back to him. Well, I was like, Dev, what's going on? I sent him a picture of it. And he was like, dude, my friend did that. It was like a prank. Clay yeah. did it. Clutch Clay did that. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, and I was like, nah. You know what I mean? And then you texted him from like a, a random yeah. phone number and he was like, where do you want to meet? <laughs> yeah, I had, I had my buddy text Dev and he was like, hey, I heard this is DC, hold, no holds, no loads denied DC. <laughs> yeah, and, yeah. And then Devin said present. He like messaged yeah. back present. That's me. By the way, he speak- goes, I'm at the stops uh, <laughs> tonight. He goes, if you can make the stops in Bakersfield. Yeah, he's like, Baco, I'm out in Baco. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, Dave. Oh, by the way, speaking of Clay, everyone uh, check out, uh, join the Patreon. My friend Clay Cassis, mm. uh, he's a, a great chef, and he's also one of the most interesting people I've ever met. Um, he uh, he was on a Patreon recently telling uh, w- incredible, hilarious stories. He brought his gun. His gun was in the room. Did uh, he show it on the thing? Oh, yeah, yeah. A lot of, I, I think so. Um, it was a wild day. Clay is a... Uh, Clay is a fun guy too. He's also like he's a lot better now as a as he's gotten older. I love Clay. <laughs> That's not something you say about. I somebody. love Clay. I love Clay. No, I'm saying like get uh, a troubled past. Saying, oh, saying oh, he, yeah, like, yeah, he yeah, grew word, word, into word, himself. Yeah, yeah. Also, let me do and a it's quick. A, it's a it's an amazing Patreon episode. I highly recommend checking it out. It's the story. He's I mean, we're gonna have him on a lot. I've more, been and just so real quick, I've been getting a lot of like comments from people. Um, by the way, I love this podcast and I love you guys. You guys are like my best friends. <laughs> And yeah. um, my best friend, thank you. But I and, and here's the I, I I'm gonna miss you guys, but I kind of can't do these anymore. And what? what the fuck? Yeah. So I oh uh, is this a pussy? Is that over pussy? Well, no. I stand with Tim Dillon, and I kind of am just yeah. done with this group. I love Tim. Uh, we, I know. Yeah. This is, but you can't do it anymore. Cause he's my best friend. Because you're going to get more pussy with him. He's my best friend, and I like him more. All right. Mm. So I love you guys, but this is my last episode. All right, you heard that? Joey's yeah. last episode, because uh, uh, pussy comes Joey's first. Joey's gone. All right. Anyway. He's gone. It was a fun ride. It was a fun ride. It was fun while it lasted. I missed you. I'm going to miss you. I'll miss you, too, man. Yeah, we I'll miss you, too. Wait. anymore? No. Fuck. Well, it's that all sucks, worth dude. it. All right. All right. All right. God bless. Later. Later. See you. Yep. Yep. All right. <laughs>